Happy Tuesday. While you are getting out your classwork notebook and have your iPad open, you can pause this video and then resume it when you're ready. You will need to take some notes in your classwork notebook or do all of the notes on these slides. It's up to you. I would recommend downloading the slides from Canvas first and then playing this in a side-by-side -side so that you can do the work and then check your work with what we've done. The goal for today's class is to be making sure that we understand the moves and the strategies that we need to use to simplify expressions. So we're gonna make sure that we understand how to do that. And then we're going to move on eventually later in the week to some complex expressions and ideas. So in order to do this today, we're gonna to review the strategies for simplifying expression mats. We're gonna compare the mats and decide which mat is greater. Our learning target for today is going to be, I can simplify expressions by using legal moves. Please pause this video and go to the Canvas homepage, go to Modules, select Tuesday. In there, there will be several things that you can download. Obviously, the weekly RMP. There will also be two resource pages, the 215 resource page. Please download that into the additional file. And then the class problems, please put that in class slides. When you are ready, please come back to this video. We will start with the first of the two sheets I asked you to download, the resource page for legal moves. Last week, we talked about making zero pairs. Zero pairs are when you have two tiles that have the opposite and exact value in the same region of your mat. You can see the information on the side clearly shows that there are two unit tiles. This is a plus one and this is a minus one. Together, those two tiles equal the value of zero. What we talked about was circling them, putting a line through them, and showing them removing themselves from the actual mat. It does not matter if they are in the negative space or in the positive space. If together they add up as zero, you can go ahead and remove them. If you decide to make a key that says zero pairs, you can do that. If you do not make a key, you must say over here zero pairs. Many of you did not do this in your RP and you did not do this in your Friday formative. In the future, I will have to mark it wrong because I need to know what your justification is for removing them from the mat. Again, last week, we had the idea of taking objects, tiles, that were in the opposite region, this is the opposite region, and flipping them up to the positive region. Remember, our notes clearly stated that no, not, no tiles can live in the opposite region. When we flip them up to the, uh, to the actual region, we need to redraw them as the opposite value. As you can see here in the example, we had two plus one unit tiles. When we flipped them and moved them up into the actual region, they each became a negative one unit tile. Again, if you set yourself as a key and you say flip, that's all you need to do. Otherwise, you need to somehow indicate that you are flipping them. Otherwise, it'll have to be marked incorrect. The last piece that we did not talk about last week was the idea of removing balanced sets. So what is a balanced set? A balanced set would exist when there are tiles, like these two, negative one, negative one, and negative one, negative one, that live in opposite regions of our mat. Or if this mat had a second side, if there was a second side to the mat, and there were tiles that were the same from here to here, you could also remove them. So what you need to understand is when you have tiles that are the same in each positive and positive and negative region, you can circle them, you can remove them, and the reason, of course, would be a balanced set Why can we do this? Well, I want you to think about something for a minute. If I took these two, again, I'm with my green, which means to flip, and I brought them up and I redrew them as positive unit tiles, 
then I would end up having a zero pair that I could remove because the negative and the positive add together. So the idea of the balance set saves you two additional steps. So obviously this is the way that you want to do something like that. Okay, so now we're going to have a discussion about comparing maths and we're going to draw our little pictures and we're going to simplify the expressions that are on our mats. At this point, you should have a split screen with the classwork problems. The goal today is to determine which of our expressions is greater. So two expressions can be represented side by side on two different mats. That's what we're going to do today. You can simplify them and compare the simplified expression on each mat to determine which mat is greater. Again, please make sure at this point you have the classwork problems open as a side-by-side -side to each for each one of these problems coming up. Okay, so here we go. Here's our first problem. Let's work through it together. Again, you can pause this, try to do it yourself, and then come back to it, but I will go through each one of these together. So the first problem, we have our left, we have our right. The idea is which is greater. The first thing you need to do is to figure out what is the original expression on each of the mats, and then what is the simplified expression on each of the mats. So let's do that right now. If we look at each one of these mats and we try to figure out what is the original expression, the original expression on the top, you can combine the positive tiles together, which would be one, two, three, four. So we have four minus, let's do it over here, four, minus, and then what do we have? We have three, and then on the right side, we end up with one minus three. So what we want to do is we want to simplify our maths in order to determine which one is greater. You can see here, we have some zero pairs. So those are gonna be removed on each one of the mats individually and I will make myself a key, which will say zero pairs. Once I have completed that, I want to figure out what is left. What is left on the left-hand side is a plus one tile, and what is left on the right-hand side are two negative tiles. So what is greater, negative one or negative two? Obviously, negative one would be greater. Okay, let's do it again. In this case, we actually have an, ex an original expression that has values that live in the negative, the opposite region for the left side. So what do we have? On the top, we have negative one, and then in the bottom, negative in parentheses. That is what we use. This indicator right here is what we use to show that there's going to be values in the opposite region on the bottom. So we have a negative two value in the bottom. On the right-hand side, we have one minus two. So what are we going to do? We are going to flip these up here. So again, we make ourselves a key. We're using different colors. You're using your iPad, so you are able to do all of those things. And then we would redraw. This is our redraw right here. And the first thing we obviously want to go and take care of is our zero pairs. And we have another one right here. So we have our zero pairs. And what do we have left? We end up on the left-hand side with a plus one and on the right-hand side with a minus one. So what is greater? Again, the left-hand side is greater. All right, next example. So the first thing that we want to understand is what do we have alive on our mats? On the left-hand side, we have an x plus 1 minus 2. And on the right-hand side, we have an x plus 2 minus 2. So the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is to remove your zero pairs. That is always the thing you want to do first. So we're going to remove those. And we are actually going to remove all of these. It's lovely when you can do that. Again, we have our key with our zero pairs. 
Hopefully what you can see also on here is, I'm gonna do it on here too, because it looks like these are copied from the book. And so they do it step by step. <clears throat> what you can also see here is that we have balanced sets. So this is really highlighting the idea of the balanced sets. So you can remove those. So what do we end up having on our left mat? We have a negative one. And on our right mat, we have zero. Zero is greater than negative one. So the right mat this time is the greater mat. Okay, go ahead and pause this video and see if you can figure out how to get which side is greater, left or right, and then come back. So welcome back. The first thing we want to do is write down our two original expressions. On the left-hand mat, we have x plus 2 minus 2, and then in the negative region, we have 3. On our right-hand mat, we have x plus 2 minus 3, and then in our negative region, we have negative 2. So then we're going to make ourselves a key. That's the first thing I usually do, and I just write it all down. I have my balanced sets, B-A-L-A-N, balanced sets. Then I go ahead and I do my zero pairs. And I know that I'm going to be flipping because I do have values in the bottom, so I'm going to flip. The first thing I want to do is get rid of my zero pairs, which are all of those, so those are gone. And then a lot of these, so those are also gone. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my balanced sets. So I'm going to take this x off as a balanced set, and I'm going to take that x off as a balanced set. I am also going after these two as a balanced set. All right, so it does get kind of messy. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to flip it up. I'll go all the way up to here. I will redraw that as a positive tile. I'm going to take these three negative these three positive tiles and I'm going to bring them all the way up here. I will redraw them as three negative tiles. So what do I have left? On my left tile, I have negative three. And on my right, or a left mat, excuse me, on my right mat, I have one. Okay, so which one is greater? The one. So the right mat is greater. How'd you do? Hopefully you did okay. Let's try it again. Okay, again, I would work on this yourself, and then I would come back after you've had an opportunity to process and see how yours works with mine. So again, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with my key. So I have my balanced sets. I have my zero pairs. And I have my flipped. Now I'm going to write down my original expressions. On my left-hand side, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have five minus one, two, three. And then I do have things living in the negative region. So I have parentheses one minus two on my right-hand side. Okay, let's continue to work on the right mat. So what do we have on the right mat? We have three positives and we have two negatives. And then in the opposite region, we have one and minus three. Okay, so we have everything ready. Let's go ahead and get started where we usually start, which is our zero pairs. So up here on the left-hand side, we have quite a few zero pairs, one, two, and three. So we're gonna just get rid of all of those. Down here, we also have a zero pair, so we'll get rid of that one. Then we have this two and this two. We'll get rid of those. And then these guys. All right, out we go. The next thing I like to do is look at my balanced sets. Again, because that is just eliminating things, we'll take one down from the opposite region on each one, and then we'll take one off of the top in the actual region. Okay, what's left is to flip. So we're going to take this one, we're gonna flip it up. We're gonna redraw that as a positive tile, and hopefully you see that we have another balanced set 
So we will remove both of those. What do we have? We actually have zero and zero, so these two mats are equal. Okay, last one, one more time. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to, or just follow along with me as I do it. We will start where we have before with making our key. The first thing we have are balanced sets. Next up is our zero pairs. And lastly, we have our flipping. Let's write down what we have as our original expressions on each of our mats. So we have an, on the top for the left, we have x plus 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4, minus 2. And then we do have in the negative region 2 minus 1. On the right-hand side, we have x plus 1 minus 2. And then in the negative region, we have negative 4. Just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that seems right. So, of course, I always go after my zero pairs first. So I've got one right here. And then I've got another one right there, and one more. Lovely. Next up, I've got one here, so I'm just going to remove those. And that is all that I have there. The next thing I'm going to do is get rid of my balanced sets. So I can take that off, and I can also take that one off. And it looks like that's all I can do. Nope. I have one more here. I can take that one off, and I can take that one off. Okay. So when you get messy like this, sometimes I will go ahead and I will, like, highlight all that I have left so that I don't lose track of it. And I can see by doing that I have now made myself a little bit of a mistake because that would be a balanced set. So I could take that off, and I could take that off. So going ahead and highlighting that information really is helpful because it will show you what you have left and it'll, it'll kind of make sure that you don't make a mistake. All right, next up is flipping. So I'm going to take all three of these and I'm going to bring them up here and I'm going to draw three positive tiles. One, two, and three. I'm going to pause and I'm going to look because now I know that I have one more balanced set, I can take that one out, and I can take any one of those three left out. So what do I have left on the left-hand side? I have zero, and on the right-hand side, I have two. So my right-hand mat would be greater. Hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, we will obviously work on it tomorrow. At this point, you are to go back to Canvas, and if you haven't already done so, download the weekly R&P and get started. I have for you today problems 51 and 53. You are always welcome to move on and work on extras if you would like. When you finish, you can quietly work at your table.